this is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase II Digital Brunel Hardness Tester. These hardness testers are designed to test primarily metals using the Brunel Hardness Method via a closed-loop load cell driven control. This replaces the older weight loaded systems where the testing performance was not as consistent or as accurate as the current load cell system. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. Let's begin with the unique design of this series hardness tester. The maximum height of the workpiece testing is 230 millimeters or about 9 inches. The maximum depth of workpiece is 140 millimeters or about 5.5 inches. Here we have the main interface screen which can input parameters and settings and a manual microscope that is standard with this model. Though a digital model can be purchased as an option separately. To begin, let's go to the machine and to the main test interface. Some key features of this screen to point out. Pressing the setup key on the left to bring you to the menu screen, you'll first find Brunel scale parameters. There are 12 to choose from. A 3,000 kilogram load with a 10 millimeter ball is the most common. Load dwell time, Brunel calculator, reference info, measuring unit, and the date and time stamp. Taking a test is as simple as affixing your test block on the anvil. Bring up the test piece by turning the collar clockwise until the screen shows contact and the beep sounds. The tester will finish loading, dwell, and then unload on its own. Once this part is completed, the screen will show the weight load being used. Place the microscope on the test block or specimen. Both the numerals and graduation lines on the scale shall be clearly identifiable in the sight range. If the indent cannot be clearly defined, turn the eye lens knob to adjust the sight until it becomes clear. The microscope is calibrated at the factory to make certain that indents can be clearly defined. Rotate the drum to take a reading. Graduation lines are printed on the drum with the scale span of 0 .005 millimeter so that a complete turn of the drum equals to 0.5 millimeters. There are two graduation scale in, in the eye lens, one fixed and one mobile. When the drum starts to rotate, the mobile scale with the black line moves simultaneously. By this time, the indent can be measured in the following manner. At first, move the black line to line up with one side of the indent and take the reading. Then turn the drum and shift the line to the other side of the indent and take the reading accordingly. Measuring the indentation diameter using the microscope in two directions perpendicular to each other. Now press setup, then press the up or down arrow key to move the cursor to HBW calculator. Press the enter key to confirm, then press the arrow key to enter the values of the two diameters D1 and D2. Then press enter to confirm. At that point, the Brunel value will appear on the screen. Loosen the screw to unload the test force. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 955 Digital Brunel Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.